this new GM experimental idea car is not for sale and probably never will be as such. But some of its innovations and touches of style it may appear in the showroom model someday. It's an offspring of the Chevrolet Corvette, known as the Mako Shark II. And its distinctive coloring, shading from deep blue at the top to light gray underbelly, simulates that of its deep sea namesake. Developed at the tech center, the car is piloted by Carol Roth, attractive enough to be a model, but actually a Chevrolet staff member. William Mitchell, GM styling vice president, briefs Carol on some of the shark's many unique features. A top that raises at the touch of a button for easy entry and exit. A new 427-inch Chevrolet V8 with a three-speed hydromatic. A vacuum-operated gas filler cap controlled by a release of the instrument console. The engine can be serviced for oil and water through two round ports flush with the top of the hood. All controls are at the driver's fingertips. Direct digital instruments are easily read. Drum type controls for the AM FM radio and all switches are either recessed or flush to provide greater safety. The steering wheel tilts and since the seats are solidly anchored the foot pedals are adjustable. It's an extraordinarily safe car that anyone can drive, and Mr. Mitchell is keenly interested in everyone's impressions. The best way to find out is a trial run. Who wouldn't like to get behind the wheel of this car? Even though built on a production Corvette frame, the Shark is more than nine inches longer and nearly three inches lower than the current Stingray. Its independent four-wheel suspension and disc brakes give the car excellent control. At night, its six-unit iodine quartz headlights can flood the road with more illumination than any lighting system now allowed on the highways. Cornering lights linked to the turn signals are recessed in each front fender behind louvers. This is a car that is confident, poised, and every bit as capable as it looks. An unusual safety feature is a pair of retractable stabilizing flaps at the rear. In the up position, they make use of the air flow over the body to put more load on the rear wheels for better traction. Featured in the fastback design are remotely controlled louvers that can be opened for ventilation and visibility to the rear. During bad weather, windshield wipers do their regular job. And then, they disappear from view for cleaner lines. It sure beats digging for blades buried in snow or frozen in the glass. Altogether, Mako Shark 2 is a real jackpot when it comes to new ideas on wheels. And lots of other people feel the same way. Found here for a series of European auto shows, the car was an immediate hit at Paris, the first stop on its tour. Mm -hmm.